What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Lego Fortnite and before we kick off today's episode I want to thank you for using creator code Zach Scott games in the store. I really do appreciate it uh, We were in the process here of making a town, but I think I found a better location and uh, I don't know if you guys will agree, but I'm going to show that to you in just a second. I'm going to drop off a couple of things. Of course, with this better location means I have to move just a little bit, though. Not too far. Um, I really could use some food. I, I guess I could bring this cheese. I don't know. <laughs> just bring the cheese, put that in the offhand. Stay warmer. Uh, I have malachite, iron, marble here. Um, I will probably want to bring all of this kind of rare stuff with me if I'm going to locate relocate my new town. Um, I'm actually using a skin right now that is available in the item shop. Uh, put that in the frost. Yeah, let's just move all this. I can maybe leave that behind. Uh, shells, maybe the meat. I don't know. I'm just going to... Sure, let's bring it. Why not? Why not? We don't have anything else going on. Um, that, of course, means that I'm leaving this group behind. I mean, there's, there's only one person here. But I think you're going to agree when you see the new location. And then this is only level 2, by the way. So the, the beauty is that the town can still remain there. Not that it has to. But I'm going to relocate up to here. This will be cl both closer to my old base, my, my, my current base, and uh, also not that far from where I want to end up building the next place anyway. So um, let's move to it uh, this way. And when you see it, you'll see it. And you'll be like, okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I think that's going to be your reaction to it. Uh, but basically, we're going to go uh, off, and it's going to look beautiful. It's not completely snow-covered, uh, but it does have a little little bit of snow on the ground, and I think you're going to think it's beautiful. I don't know if we're going to find any frost fruits today. I need a ton more arrows, but uh, it's definitely an option. Um, and we also are probably going to want to take a look at what we can use those for, uh, those frost fruit scales that we got. Um, where is it? Am I going the right way still? Uh, almost. It's this way. <laughs> and it's also closer to a mountain, which is going to be good for malachite production. Or not necessarily production, but, but mining. And so let's head over here for a second. Um, I really do feel like I'm in the end game of this game now. Um, I just really need to build, you know, a, a town and get it leveled up all the way. Also make a new desert town and get it leveled up all the way. Etc. Etc. And then I think that we'll be in really in a really good spot in the game, so that whenever they release new content, I'll be really powerful. So take a look here. It's about down here, I believe. Where am I? Yeah, it's in this area. Now I just have to remember where in this area it is. The reason I chose it is because I was kind of uh, going out here and I discovered. Uh, that there were three caves nearby and I thought you know what I want to be near those three caves That way I'm closer to a mountain. And I think this is gonna be a really good spot um, Oh, yeah, there's a catch a little catch not a big catch But there's a catch that there's already kind of a, a town or like a castle here, but basically this is right here and it is it, do I need to worry about this town over here Hmm this actually puts me close to four caves, which is really cool. Uh, let me, it's either going to be here that I build it, or maybe I just take over this town. Let's go look again. I think I like being, yeah, there's a cave right up there. This is already an established town, maybe? Uh, hello? You guys friendly? They're not friendly at all. Sorry. What are you guys doing? This is my town. You guys are weak. Ow. There we go. So, this could easily be my place now. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm a little hungry. Now, do I want to just build it here, or do I want to, you know, move it out a little bit more? I think the answer is move it out a little bit more. I don't know why it bumps me away when I'm first searching these things. Oh, it, it summons some people. Oh, 
All right. More grilled meat. I don't mind. Was that all? I think I think opening that chest summoned these guys. Where you going? Where you going? Come on, I thought you were gonna move. Sure. Are they gonna constantly attack me here? Anyway, one idea is like, yeah, I would just take over this place. And that would put me about right here. Which is close to four caves. And then um, it puts me a little bit closer. Or I guess I could move, instead of just right here, where this little town is, I could also build it over here, which would put me a step closer, basically. And this looks nice, too. Like, if we're going to build... I guess I haven't firmly decided. Like, if I'm going to build a building... Like, let's take take this, for example. Object too far away. See, like, this is all on kind of flat land. So, this is good here, too. And I think that this is probably a better location just because it gets me that much closer to more caves. A little bit closer to where I want the next space to be. And so, I think that this is going to be what I ultimately end up calling home. We're real this time in uh, in the Frostlands. Th those scorpions are so dangerous, by the way. Did I get everything here? I guess I didn't. But the cool thing is, is that there's a chest here. <laughs> there's two chests already here. So that's actually a really good thing for me. And if I can just call this place home, then maybe I could just utilize those chests already. Um, so let's do it. Let's go ahead and make another building. Um, if it lets me. Village square. Um, hmm. It does. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Time out, time out. I gotta fight these guys before. He's throwing stuff at me. I guess Yeti could use another, uh, whoa, thank you for the wood. Yeti could maybe use another sword. What are we doing here? Ooh, that hurt. That smarts. No, get away from me! Well, I need to eat this really quick before this guy becomes a real nuisance. There you go. Not quite sure what all those are for, but looks like they messed up stuff around here too. Okay, so now that that's taken care of, you know, we kind of want to use, oh shoot. Oh no, get out of here guys, what the heck? I need to make a town. Okay, I'm trying to make a town here, but it's really deadly. That scorpion is a really strong... That scorpion took him out. Keep that scorpion around for this other wolf. That scorpion, if it attacks that wolf... That yeti is really going for it, though. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. There you go. All right. Uh... <laughs> Let's make our town. I mean, this is probably, I mean, I think the town is gonna be, like, if we're looking at, the, like, the town square. Please, 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 let me just build a town here. Um, it's hard to know where, keep in mind that this part can be relocated. So here we are. New town in the Frostlands, confirm. Stay away from our town. This is, my, this is Village 4. Uh, hopefully you'll get to rename Villages. Because right now you can't. 
far as I know, you can't. Um, can I already upgrade the town? I can. Great. Upgraded to level two. In the Frostlands. Um, we're going to want a fire, I believe. How is it already a level two? Does it count the structure that's already here? Oh, man. It might count the structure that's already here, which is hilarious. Man, we have a lot of things fighting, though. Oh, those don't help at all. Um, let me eat a little bit. But you get the idea. Like, this is going to be... Wow. I don't even know. What is he doing? What did I just throw? Goodness. There's a knight willing to help out. He's like, hey, I'm here to help. Let me build a bed. And honestly, I think I'm just going to put a bed in here. Like, just drop a bed in here. Including mine. Furniture. Ancient bed. We need... Uh... That one's mine. <laughs> that was my bed. And then... Uh... I can start throwing stuff in here. Let me put my valuables in here. I hope this is not this is not going to be a problem. <laughs> Keeping my valuables here. Uh, let's merge things together really quick. Need more frost wood. That's easily done. Uh, marble, marble, thing, this thing, webs, vines, cheese. You name it. You name it, dude. All right. That's my stuff. That's my bed. If I get some more frost wood. Oh my gosh. This guy seems pretty easy. Put him in the back. Thank you. I don't need any of that stuff. But, um. I'm gonna collect it all now. So this is a problem. I need, I'm going to probably need to build gates pretty soon here. But more importantly, I need frost wood. So let me cut down some trees nearby. And maybe these grow back. Maybe. I don't know. I'm cold. Whatever. It's the middle of the night. But I'm going to give uh, this night guy a place to live, I suppose, if he wants to be here. Now, what is the story with him? Like, what is he good at? That's probably going to be the ultimate question. Is like, well, what is this guy even good at doing? I don't know. But let me build him a bed. And, uh... Build another bed. All right, so he he has a bed. Hey, buddy. Talk to the Blue Squire. Well met, fellow adventurer. Blue Squire at your service. I'm glad this place brought us together. It's exhausting running from storms all the time. If you don't mind, I'll stay in your village. Great. You also want to live here. It's good to roam around, but you know what's even better? Having a village to call home. What can I do for you? Live in my village. I do have a spot. There you go. So we have uh, the Blue Squire is now living here. Yet he will eventually have his home here as well. Um, but I think that what we need to do, like, if we take a look at all the things that we need to get done, you know, we need to, so we've already got it to level two, and that's a reward, which we've already had before. Next up, not root, blanks and marble. We have, uh, the marble, but we don't have the thing, but more importantly, uh, we need, like, a building, I guess, to start doing work in. And I don't know, I mean, obviously these builds are cool and all, like the Shogun Palace is cool. Um, but so so are this stuff. Like this stuff is good, but no. I guess I could go with the theme, but eventually I think I want to replace, like these buildings are gonna be, you don't even need to build the buildings to have a good place, you know what I'm saying? But I could build, um, I don't know what I'm gonna build. You want a job? Good day. This place is inspiring me to chip in and get a job. Let me know what you need. 
Help the village, resource jobs, refine wood. I know that you're gonna need a lumber mill. I don't have one yet, but I can make one. Um, I think just, you know, for the start of the village, I'm just gonna make a jumble of buildings like I always do and not worry too much about, for, for example, this here. I'm gonna give, here you go, Yeti, you can have this. I wonder if there's a snow lodge or two around here. Got a closet full of movie memorabilia. Take this. It's a long sword. I found it on the ground. Um. So if I want to experiment with the new buildings, you know, it probably won't be a bad idea to, um, you know, build something like like this. I need more frost pine, or granite. Or regular wood and vines. I have a whole bunch of vines. And then we can get right to it. So let me go gather some resources really quick. Alright guys, I got this built. Because I already built one in the other town. I just didn't think I needed to just like repeat myself. So I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, the crafting thing and the lumber mill in here. Uh, because that's I guess what he needs to start. His job. You, you good dude? Cool. <laughs> He's just staring into the abyss. Uh, also, I could probably use a campfire here, so let's just go ahead and uh, drop drop in a campfire. Uh, maybe just kind of like... I don't know. Maybe like right here? I don't know. Maybe right next to it? There you go. And then... Um, this, is, this is how we start. And so I need to go get some marble and some knot root. Uh, so that we can upgrade our town to a uh, level whatever village. Level 3 village. So we are back in this cave. Uh, here to get more marble. Here to get more knot root. All that stuff. And I think it's going to go pretty well. I don't know how much of this I need to showcase. Because this is basically stuff that I've done again and again and again. And uh, can I reach that? Not yet. I probably need stairs up there. <laughs> Build stairs. There we go. And then now I can get this stuff. Yeah, there we go. Marble's easy to get. Not roots easy to get, especially around here. I do have a little concern about maybe like my, over mining. Like, oh shoot, the nearby caves. Whoa, look at all that. What a mess. But who knows, maybe it's fine. All right, home sweet Frostlands home up here. Looking pretty good. And um, let's see what we got going on. Is Has he been working? Let's see if the knight's been working. Is he working over here? You working, dude? Uh, a hike is pretty lonely with no one else on the trail. Maybe I should invite some friends to join. How's your job? Started working. Okay, come on. <laughs> come on. All right. Well, I'm back uh, to upgrade this. So let's upgrade the village. Planks. I see. I really need you to work on the. Okay, whatever. I can do it. I can do. It. I can make planks. Not a big deal. Uh. Let's make like 10. How many do I need? I don't even remember. But one thing we can do is go over here into here. And well, first up, we don't need these pickaxes. That's what's really bogging me down. Move, Yeti. Yeti wants to live here too, right? Um, so just drop that stuff off over here. While those, while those planks are working, uh, I can also drop a few things off of my own. Here, let's, I guess everything's merged pretty well. Bones, wood, wood, planks. Don't necessarily need the shields. Where's my good one? I had a good shield somewhere. Marble down here. Why is it moving around? I don't know what's going on. And not root. And then let me drop off these swords as well. Excuse me. I mean, I don't like everything being around here. See these planks are ready. Some of those, like seven of them. Great. Take. And we can now upgrade the village again. Excuse me. Wow. The skeleton just kind of sits here and takes it. I got a classic jar recipe. I actually got a lot of recipes. 21 build recipes. Ancient corner. Let me actually get in here. You stay out there and fight. And we'll take a look at what we've learned. Um, as far as... So, yeah, let me cycle through the floor. It's a different style of flooring. 
Okay, that makes sense. Fencing, that's good. A different... So it's just railing, I guess. Uh, supports, new supports. Okay. Roof, new roof pieces. Alright, nothing, nothing, nothing astounding here. Uh, for builds, though, we have this. This is a palace pavilion. Might as well build it because I haven't built it yet. Don't know what I'll put in here, but we could have a pavilion. It won't hurt anything. And then furniture, surfaces, lots of surfaces. We, we need to figure out what we're going to do with surfaces because I don't know what I'm doing with surfaces. This is a this is a mess. This is a mess here. Uh, clutter, yeah. I feel like this game already has so much things to worry about, but a plate display. All right, let's make this pavilion. Everything okay? Oh, an archer is here. Did I sleep in my bed? I'm in my bed now. There we go. Just in case I hadn't. Oh, oh the blue squire's in the bed. Good job to you. Arrows for me. Bones for me. So dark. Where do I want to put this uh, pavilion, so to speak? Not so sure yet. My tools are almost gone, too, by the way. But by the time I build the pavilion, will I have enough to upgrade? Not root rods, marble slabs. Those are both in the other village. I could, I could just go grab them rather than mining something else entirely. They'll give us a, some palace gates to build. Um, the pavilion. Let's see what that pavilion looks like. Oh, that's pretty nice. Got to kind of build it a little ways away. I could just stick one, like, right over here. Or maybe I can't. Another ob what object is in the way here? It's really hard for me to tell. I could kind of stick a pavilion here, maybe. This might be too close, though. But it wouldn't look too bad. Like I said, we're probably going to re-engineer our whole town once we get it leveled up appropriately. I have the stuff to build it, too, so... Ah, oh, jeez, Louise. Dang, I, don't, I do not want him to hit me with this stuff. The Yeti is doing an alright job. Okay, we okay, yeah. I need to I'm coming in here. Knight, wake up. We're under siege. He's attacking him. In the back. <laughs> I'm going to go and eat my bread. I'm hungry, but am I cuz I just ate. I don't actually want to fight in here. There you go. All right. What were we doing over here? the bill. I probably would rather put the workbench here rather than in there. And then oh yeah, roof time, roof time, roof time. I have some things in the middle here. One more. Did I mess up on the placement? I think I might have. Yeah, let me uh, somehow I messed up on the placement here. Move. There you go. Not sure how that happened, because I mean, I just click where it wants me to, basically. There we go. And then what else are we going to build? Oh, the big rooftop. There we go. I'm going to build another crafting table here. There we go. That's the one we're going to use. 
More wood planks are done. Take. Uh, and then we are ready for level four. But like I said, we need not root rods, marble slabs. Uh, the marble slabs, I don't think I brought any with me. No, I have marble, but not marble slabs. Not that it's a great excuse, but I mean, like, uh, we probably need... Get that out of here. I probably need to build a... Uh, I guess a stone breaker if we're going to build something, right? I need marble. I need more marble than that. That's okay. I do have more marble than that. Uh, sure. There we go. Let's see about it. I don't know if this is the best building for it, but, you know, lumber, you know. Lumber and, I mean, this is, this is to build, like, crafting stuff, lumber mill. This is food. I think kind of, you know, like, uh, you know, this kind of goes together. So, kind of put it in here. Here you go. Someone will want to build that soon. I don't know why no one else is in my town yet wanting to live with me. Maybe Yeti can live with me. Can you live with me yet? Join my village. Did he do it? Yeah. All right. Yeti is finally a member of the village. Uh, let me go get some not root rods and marble slabs. And I can probably set the not root. I have I have not root on me. I have 50. I could start making some rods while we're gone. Not root rods. Change recipe. Quick deposit. Let's make 30. Don't don't want to spend them all in one place. And then I'll make a journey to my next the, the other village I was in and uh, try to try to collect over there. Here we are back at home. It's been a while since I've been here. Everyone's lounging around. What are you guys doing? Get back to work. Really, what have you been doing? How's your job? He doesn't. He, does he even have a job? Do you, do you do you have a job? He's jobless. Oh no. Uh. Okay. Resource job. Collect nearby resources. There you go. My bad. I didn't know you were jobless. Over here we got some iron bars. Take those. Um. We also have iron in there. And then we have uh, a whole, whole stash of food, which I probably need because I don't have any food on me, really. Um, I'll take some corn. 30 corn. Um, what was I doing here? Oh, yeah. Gathering something. What was I here for? Oh, marble slabs and not root rods. So I'm making the not root rods back at my new village in the Frostlands. Um, but I probably need to make a whole slew of new weapons. Like, look at what's going on with my weapons. It's pretty dire here. I, I don't have a lot of weapons. So, let's uh, start stashing stuff that I may not need right now. I probably could bring a little bit of everything to the new town. But I would need to just be smart about it. Um, if I want to make new weapons, let's, first let's talk. Bright Bummer, what have you been working on? How's your job? How much is that? Okay, not not much. <laughs> you could have been working harder. Raptor, how's how are you doing? How's your job? Okay, and then you you've been making me food, right? It's me. How's your job? Thanks. Oh wow, looks like things are getting full. And then uh, meow souls. That amber is really all you're working on, I guess. No problem. Yeah, and it's kind of full here, too. So, um, let's stash the food over here. The stuff that we don't really need. Because I only really have one flux food. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's... Uh, we don't really have any food on me. Oh, I have some mushrooms. Sure. Can we stack the mushrooms yet? No. For some reason, we can't. Um... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm moving stuff around for no particular reason. Uh, let's stash these juices. Really, we're stuck on those too. That's okay. We can have an extra one. I think we were full on eggs. Uh, anyway, let's just get back. I'll get back to organizing really quick while I'm here. 
and then decide what I need to do, what I need to bring. All right, I'm actually going to go ahead and make the long sword here. Uh, it takes a lot of iron bars, but I'm going to do it just so that I have a backup sword. Um, and if you take a look, uh, there it is. It looks good. I'm going to use it. I'm going to have to go get some more bright core. That's like the bottleneck right now, the bright core. It's really holding me back. Um, but I think that we're prepared. I'm just not going to have an axe. Uh, but I have everything else. And recurve crossbow. How do you make a crossbow again? Let's see. You can make this one with frost pine, drawstring, and iron bar. I think I'll make that as well. Also make more arrows if I can. So let me see about the... Uh, uh, the frost pine rods I think I put over here. No. Over here. 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 There they are. <laughs> and then... Uh, drawstring is pretty easy, and then I'll use this bow, like, later. Um, so here we go. Uh, let's see, craft that. Excellent work! I'm getting a lot of stuff done. Uh, but really, like, the, like I said, the bottleneck is, is definitely seen. Uh, in terms of I really need to, uh, get more bright core. That's, like, really what's holding me back from doing a lot of stuff. And so let me do more bright core. Right now I'm making more uh, granite slabs because you need those to add like durability to things. And I will probably add durability to the long sword. Um, I might add damage to the crossbow though. Uh, I think the crossbow is like how I'm going to, going to attack most brutes and things like that. Uh, when I have to get into it, sure, I'll just have a sword. But I think I'm going to add um, durability to this. Uh, I have Essence of Luck unlocked now, which takes a lot of stuff, but increases the chance of enemies dropping extra loot when using weapons and tools. That would be really cool, uh, you know, if I'm if I'm using something like that, but I don't, I don't know. Like, maybe if I'm fighting some of the, the big dudes. Anyway, Essence of Durability, I think, is what uh, Rough Amber and Granite Slab. So, yeah, I'm waiting on, on that. If I want to add a little extra damage, we're talking Rough Ruby and Blast Core. I don't think I have any Blast Cores on me, so... I'm going to go look in the uh, desert caves. Be right back. All right, guys. Uh, I went all the way <laughs> to one of the caves, and I did not have my protection against heat. So I went ahead, and I now have it. Um, but one thing I was thinking about is I, I probably should make a glider, especially if I'm going up there again. Uh, the glider takes eight flex woods, four wool fabrics, four or six silk fabrics. Uh, okay. The what? Wool, silk. I've never used this before. So silk and wool. I mean, we just need to deposit silk threads and wool threads. So let me get both of those out of here. Uh, silk threads and wool threads. So there's wool. And then here is... Oh wait, that was wool threads. And what silk threads? That's wool. Wait, what? What are we depositing? I don't want this long sword. Get out of here. Sorry, I should have... What? <laughs> so, uh, for the glider, uh, silk, th okay, silk fabric and wool fabric. Oh, so silk, like, from, oh, silk threads. Okay, got it, got it. Silk threads. I think. So, silk threads, and these are cords. Okay. So, we'll make, uh, how many of those do we need? <laughs> uh, glider. Uh, six silk fabrics or wool fabric. So, six of the silk fabrics. Gonna be a little weird to six of these. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make six. Uh, but we also can make uh silk threads with silk. Oh, let me just talk to her. Have you made any for me? How's your job? Get silk thread. Great. Thanks. Glad you've been working on those. Uh, silk fabric. So yeah, drop. Oh, we're at 30 already, okay. Processing six items, there we go. Put a few more. That should be enough. And we also have drawstrings that we can deposit. Uh, wrong way. <laughs> Drawstring. So, um, let's see. And then, yeah, we still have silk thread left over. We are so full on all this stuff. Um, I think I'm just going to have to wait. Hold on, wait. I, what, I, can, I can put stuff down here, too. More leftovers. Of this kind of stuff. There's my inner fire charm. Um, yeah, wool threads. Once I, I didn't mean to put away my wool threads. I need those to make stuff. 
But once these are done, then I'll be able to... And it takes a while for this. How many do I need again? I need six of the silk fabrics for the others. Take that right now, sure. Uh, so yeah, I'll come back once we are about ready. All right, let me grab these flex wood rods. And I think this is the first time I will have made a glider. So let me just craft this glider. And we'll see what that's about in just a little bit. The grappler takes, uh, I don't know if we have copper bars. The cords and blast powder. I probably have enough to make a grappler as well. Or if I... But I don't think I have the copper bars. Yeah, I don't have the copper bars. That's what's holding me back. So this this glider... Uh, cool. So I can put it here and what? Glide... Uh, does it work? Does, is it gonna work? I don't know. Um, here, let me grab this. Take the meat. Uh, I'm super curious. How does it... How does it work? Uh... Up. Is it what is that? Okay, I don't know how to use it yet. Let me let me test it if I can. Okay, I think it's space bar. Let's see, hold on. Okay, well. Maybe we'll try it from a higher spot. Um, I think I built a little path over here. Would definitely want to test it before doing anything though. You never know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, once I go up there, using it will be, I think, finally I have it, right? I haven't made one yet, but finally I did. Let's go. Let's try to find some more caves to go into. I should be protected against the heat now. Uh, yeah. All right, let's test this bad boy out. Here we go. Okay, that's nice. That's not bad. This is, like, the way to do it. Is it almost dark? Okay, yeah, this isn't so bad. Am I, where am I going? Yeah, let's just keep going. I should have had this long ago. Traversing this area is kind of is annoying. <laughs> but there we go. Okay, wow. I'm in a big cave here. Does my glider work in the cave? <laughs> it does. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, now it's time for me to find something good. Is this? I mean, I don't think I've been in this cave before. Or if I have, it just didn't show up on my thing. But maybe I have been in here and it's just been mined. Uh, let's go look around for some blast core because that's really what I'm here for. Not not just blast core, bright core or blast either one. Something up here. I think it's just ruby and. Oh boy! Hi guys. You know I don't actually like fighting. There we go. Taking him out. Fine. These guys, huh? Time to eat. I think that this is not bright core. I think that's just ruby and uh, obsidian, which are nice. Uh, but really, I'm here for the for the major payoff. Let's try to get it anyway. I'm not going to include very much mining footage in this. Them because I know that it's so repetitive. This is Ruby here. Rough Ruby. Pickaxe is almost done for. I guess you only get two rough Ruby per one of these things. And maybe another leg up for me, right there. How many hits does this one take? All right, cool. We got like seven obsidian. And then uh, let me just finish this up over here really quick. Um. Actually, probably use floors. One. And then, um, 
Now, if I'm going to be here and I'm going to mine this area, I might as well bring a little back with me of, it, of everything that I, I can find. But really, I'm here for the bright core. I mean, that's like, honestly, like that's a huge bottleneck in this game, as far as I can tell. It's like, you can't do anything. Without more bright core. Oh wow, that's so deep. Okay, here's the thing. Am I gonna be able to find my way out of here? <laughs> that's one thing to think about. Okay, yeah, so up. I'd rather, you know, if I could, just not get lost. That is copper? Oh shoot, ow. And all these guys are here. This was, it didn't even show what it was when I picked it up. Okay. Can you guys just take care of yourselves and take yourselves out? That would be nice. Is that copper? Come on, come on. You guys are all annoying. Shoot, oh my God, oh my God. Uh, excuse me. Wow. Somehow I do not have protection to deal with that many of them. Holy cow. All right, let's just get on with it. I, have a I, bought, I bought a bunch of... Uh... Hey, dork. See you. Your helmets won't protect you. Oh, don't throw that here. Brad. And a spider. Oh dear. Uh, whoa, I almost fell. Fell there, that's okay. I see any bright core. There's a treasure over there. I feel like maybe I have been here. I don't know. But no, if I would have been here, there, I would have seen the telltale signs. That guy kind of went over this way. Hey, marble slab. Brute scales. All good stuff. Don't. Don't do it. Uh, oh, shoot, shoot. Can I not glide? Okay, thank you. What is this? Is this copper? Is it... Or was this bright core? Oh, thank goodness, bright core. Okay, good news. Good news, bright core is here. Um. Oh, here's some too, I bet. More skeleton freaks walking around. No, thank you. Okay, but you guys get the idea of what I'm doing here. Oh, that guy's not gonna have a good time. Marble, sure. Uh, this is copper here. Okay. There's like a one bright core over there, but I don't know. Can I put opposite stairs? And then put a floor. And hope he doesn't get the word out that I'm here. Oh, he can see me though. Well, that's gonna mess up the floor. Thanks a lot, buddy. And then more bright core. So yeah, I'm just gonna be here getting bright core, obsidian, ruby, whatever. And then I'll head back to town uh, once I got my fill, you know what I'm saying? All right, guys, this is a pretty crazy drop. I really don't know what's gonna take me. Uh, but I want to know. <laughs> so I'm going to make the jump, make the leap, you know what I mean? Leap of faith, and let's just go. Oh, okay, that didn't work at all. Deploying the glider. What the heck? I misclicked it a few times, I think. Hopefully these guys don't see me before I can heal up a little bit. I have better food on me, don't I? I have this food. This will be a little bit quicker if I can just 
get out of here for a second. Oh dear. I just drink that. That was quick. Good, 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 good. Okay. Ah, oh, hey, hey, buddy. Oh, jeez, Louise. Missed. Hit. Hit. Goodness gracious. Okay. I don't know if this this was a good thing to be wherever I am. Almost seems like a bit like a dead end. Or maybe I have been here. I don't know. Not really seeing any new materials. I am seeing this treasure chest I would have seen before. Um, no. Ah, duck. Stop hitting me. All right, cool. Hey, another brute scale. Been collecting those. Switch that out. Oh man. After that drop, I don't know if it's going to be so easy to get out of here because I kind of knew where I was before. All right, guys. Here's something crazy. I just fell in this hole. <laughs> and now I got to get out. Uh, I don't really know how to get out of here other than just using these. I hope I have enough wood for this because what if I don't? Uh, I cannot believe I just fell in a hole. Like, this is like a, the worst. Like, what do you? what would you even do? I guess starve to death? <laughs> And then come back. I don't even know. Uh, so, you know, I think I'm just going to put foundations down and then kind of bounce off of those. That's kind of my goal here is I think that this will... Well, that one may not work. Uh, hold on. I can't even see is the main thing. I probably don't need to put two down each time. There we go. Not, actually, that's not too bad. All right, that paid off. Uh, wow. Okay, am I, am I full again? I have, I have a lot of copper. Um, this is what my inventory looks like. I'm kind of lost in this cave. I'm trying to find my way out, but it isn't happening yet. Uh, so I might need to go like straight up somehow. And get more wood just in case that happens again. Holy cow. Oh, wait, hold on, what's over here? More copper. Oh, here's more. Great. Oh man. All right, guys. I finally found my way out. I don't know. I don't know if this is where I came in. It could have been. This cave is huge, by the way. This is a really good cave, and the fact that it's so large. Um. I don't want to build a bridge over to there if I have enough wood before I leave. All right. <laughs> I don't think I have enough wood. Well, I, I think I do now. I changed my mind. I think I do have enough wood. Let's see. All right. Am I hungry? I'm hungry. I could take these, uh, I could toss these aside for a second. Pick these up. Drink one of these slap juices. I'm going to drink them all. <laughs> this has been quite the adventure here. Uh, there is a little more left, but now, now, that I know how to get out. I'm a little more comfortable exploring. I, I explored a whole bunch, like a couple hours. I feel like I was here, uh, just looking around, exploring off and on. And yeah, I don't even know if I've been over this one. This might be a different entrance. Let's see if I've been. I don't think I've been here. Yeah, this is no. This is new. So this cave is huge. This is a different entrance. This has to be a different entrance than what I came in. Uh, so let me leave and see where I am. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Build the stairs again, my friend. Perfect. Pick that up. Why not? And so, hmm. I guess I'm out of here. I don't know. I, I can't hold granite. How can I hold granite? I shouldn't have. Oh, because I used all the wood. All right. Let's see. I'm really curious where this drops me off now. Oh, 
Um, it's dark. Uh, I do have a marker on it, though. I think this is the same cave I went in. <laughs> well, I gotta get back home. All right, I'm just about to my town, and I mean, this glider thing really helps out. Look at this. Just going in. So, um, I br I'm bringing marble slabs back. I'm not burning, I don't know, that's like a bug. I don't think I'm burning. If anything, I'm cold. <laughs> I glide here? Almost, almost. So my town obviously isn't very big. And I've been recording so long, I don't know how long this video is going to be once I edit everything. Uh, hey, there's a girl. What's up? Talk to Aura. You can't get in. Talk to Blue Squire. Can you not get in and do your work? Hello again. Uh, how's your job? Okay, you got wooden rod and plank. Sure, thanks. I was working on... You need to move, please. Move, please. Move, please. Bye. How do I open the door? Open door. There you go. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Anyway, to upgrade. Upgrade village. We got him. Boom. And there we go. And uh, so, let me go ahead and collect this. What, what was I making over here? Just not root rods or something? All right. I got a calligraphy set. I got different floors available, of course. Uh, different walls available. Uh, the main thing, though, a new build. This is the uh, the palace gates. I need wood, granite, and frost pine. Those things are all easy to come by. And uh, if we build that, we could probably upgrade again. The next upgrade I need is going to be more marbles. <laughs> and uh, flex wood rods. Tell you what, I'm going to do that next episode. Let me go ahead and uh, deposit some more special things here. Um... Yeah, I brought some of these just so I could have them. Not, not wood rod. I have a lot of rods. Um, oh, I do have marble. I would probably need to make a gem cutter or something. Or not gem cutter, whatever it's called, to process this marble into marble slabs. And then... Do I, what did it say? Flex wood? I brought flex wood with me, just in case. What did it say? Yeah, I, okay, great. So I just need to process that marble slab stuff. Do I do it here? Oh, I do. So, so amazing. Great. So, I can actually do that right now. Let's get that over with, then. Um, marble. Just drop some in. I already have four marble slabs. And then I guess I can build a gate. Keep in mind, all the stuff I'm building right now uh, isn't going to be like... I guess we'll just make it all into marble slabs. I just need 30, right? Is it 30 that I need? Yeah. Technically, I don't need 30. I need, uh... How many is it making? 26, 27... Yeah, 26. I already have four. And I can put the rest of it back. And then I can put more stuff up here really quick. And then I can get to building. Um, so let me just throw in... Let me just put these in here for the moment. Just so I don't, like, lose them or anything. Brought a lot of stuff with me. I have one one piece of wood, bones. Sure. Uh, so let's get to gathering more resources, and then uh, you know my weapons are almost gone. Actually, that's that's the yeah that's the other thing. My weapons are almost gone. You know my resource resources are low, is what I'm saying. So um, maybe I'll need a little more time gathering resources. But the other thing I wanted to do was set a course. And find a good spot for my next village. Honestly, I think this plot of land right here is going to be the best place for the new village. Uh, the For the new grasslands village I want to do. You know, the frostlands are just over there. It's not farther from... Uh, so, if you look at my frostlands village, which is right here. I got like four caves near it. Right here, I got like three grasslands caves. And I'm really close to us as well would be these caves over here but if you take a look you know it's uh like from from this frostlands village to my original village is pretty far this is is all fits on the screen this one doesn't so <laughs> this is actually pretty close uh, and there's a nice water feature nearby and it's also going to be close to my next desert village so i think i'm going to plop down uh a marker here and call this a new home. 
so to speak. Um, I don't know if there's an exact spot that would make sense. Maybe here. Maybe I could leverage that building a little bit more. I think this looks good, though. Kind of trying to get it centered. And so I do want to build another village square. And I'm just going to drop it right here. And, you know, we can relocate this later. But there we go. A uh, new village for me. And it's as, uh, I already have an upgrade available somehow. And just wood and granite upgraded. There you go. Not that I necessarily need to upgrade this because... Well, no, yeah, I do because I want people to live here. So this will be the, the site of my next village. And I'm, and I'm going to eventually just bring everything over from my old village to here. Um, so I think I'm going to put a bed in here. I mean, this is not a great place for... Oh, whoa, what the heck is that? New, what's new? Players... Yeah, what's what's new? I don't know why it told me that new. Oh yeah, there, are there new stuff here? Oh, I guess this is, oh, this is from my older upgrade, I imagine. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me just put that down. I don't want to mess with that. Uh, let me look in here. Here, arrows, feathers, whatever. Um, someone's coming over here already. I need to put in a bed. I know that this isn't like the safest place, but it's what we got for the moment. And really, I don't think we need... Oh, open. Oh, we have a chest here. A little tiny one. Um, so yeah, let me just build a bed. And this might... I, I don't know what we're going to do. You know, I, I don't think this is going to have a traditional structure to it. But uh, if I want to build a bed... I don't have anything. I just used everything. I'm going to put this here. And then there's a bed there. And then there's a bed here. I mean, it, do it really doesn't matter how they're placed. I don't think. Because if she wants to be in my village... Sunflower, hello. Hello, Sunflower. Tired as a mule. All right, sure. Uh, do you want to live in my village? Live in my village. Yes, there you go. Make yourself at home. So this is the next village site, and it's beautiful. It's got a good view of the desert. It's got a good view of the Frostlands, and it's close enough to the desert. And now I think I want to pick out my next desert village location as well. All right, I'm being chased by these wolves. But I think I'm at a location that I'm going to quite enjoy. Uh, if you look on the map, it's like right here. So it's close to two caves. And it's a decent distance from my other village. I would have liked it a little bit closer, but I... Whoa, what happened over there? Ha! Ah. Get him. Get him. What are you howling at? Oh my goodness. Yeah! Oh! Sneak attack, sort of. I guess these guys aren't that strong. <laughs> it's over here. Oh, hey, what do you want? Hey, no! Ow! Alright, cool. So, uh, what I was thinking about this area, if, if you take a look, this area is nice and flat. Kind of like, I think finding other villages is like the key, but also it has like a decent like valley next to it, which is, gives me kind of a height advantage. Um, I just need to take over this building. I, I've learned to appreciate more flat spaces after, after making my first frost village and I couldn't quite get everything at the right elevation that I was wanting. Boom. Just shooting his butt. And its head. Uh, so I think we just need to wait till it becomes daytime to, uh, to, gosh, dang, everyone's here. To, to make the village, so yeah. They heard I was making a village and they're like, oh, we want part of this. And so, if you, again, if you just take a look at the map, the map placement I think here is just great because, because... One, it's a lot closer to my OG village, but it's about equal, it's a little bit, it's even a little bit closer to my new village. So um, I think we're gonna, you know, set a village here. Hopefully there are more caves this way because there are only two caves nearby. I would like to see some more. I'll explore. Um, so let's see. I think if I just set my village here, 
I think I'll be relatively happy. He's like, what happened? I got you is what happened. All right, so let me see where I can go with this. This is, it kind of gets a little less flat as you move on. So I think I'm just gonna drop it right here. This seems good to me. I think we found it. And then the only thing that I was hoping is that um, they could all be equidistant from each other, but I haven't found an area like that where there's like, you know, where I could, oh shoot. I haven't found an area where, like, you know, the the Frostlands is right next to, um, the 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 Dry Valley, um, so I can't get them like in a triangle, equidistant, equidistance to each other. The only real hope is I, you know, I could have put. I guess I could have put a village here. I liked it here though, because it was like really close to the mountains and close to four caves. If I would have put it one like centered here, you know, like right where the transition is. It would have been close to like one cave and, and oh my God, these guys are not cool. cool. Um, it would have been close to like one cave and close to the mountain still, but I don't know. I might rethink it. You never know. You can always make another village. There's no, I don't think there's a limit or maybe there's like a technical limit. Who knows? Oh my goodness. Everything is here. Get out of here. Why did I why did you defend against that? I hate that about you. Alright. But I think this is good. I mean, they're a lot closer than they used to be. In fact, the distance from my proposed this part right here, my proposed desert village, uh, to the uh to the Frostlands village is shorter than my current uh my current village and my previous Dry Valley village as well. So, just something to think about. Um, so, yeah. So I'm, but anyway, as I was saying, you know, ideally, like it would have been cool, like if I could have put it over here. Well, let me just look. Maybe I'll look around just a little bit more. I think that we're in a good spot, though. I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe I'll have multiple villages. So I'm out here just doing a little more exploring. I found a couple more caves up here. And uh, I came across this bridge. I hadn't seen a bridge yet, like, pre-built in this game. That's kind of a cool feature. Uh, th this looks nice. I love how they, you know, they made the area right by the river a little more lush looking. Even though it's still in the dry valley. That's a cool feature for sure. All right, gliding in. So I think also one thing I might do is I might build a bunch of ramps or stairs to the sky so that I can just glide everywhere. Um, would be pretty cool, I would think. Um, it would look, it'd be an eyesore. <laughs> oh, hi. So I think that I'm, I'm oh, okay, let me fight these guys. I think with everything that we know. Hey, buddy, I see you now. Ow. I'm really low on food, so. I'll take your shell, though. I was gonna say, with everything that we know... I guess I could eat raw meat. Oof. Come here. Really? As I was saying, with everything that we know... I think this is gonna be a great spot for the desert thing. And if I've discovered anywhere new, like in the future, I can always change it up a little bit. So, I think that this is a good... It's a bit of an edge there. I think I'm gonna put it right here. Yeah, right here is good. For I need a uh, wooden granite. Okay. <laughs> Let me get that really quick. Uh, in fact, this. Oh, that's really. I, I can. Oh, that's. Oh, that's. <laughs> doing the wrong thing. There's some granite right there. Um, wood. What kind of wood. It's not the. Let's see. Didn't make it so hard. No, I'm just kidding. It's not hard. Um, and then with this said, I, I don't think this is anything. Yeah, that's just wood, right? That's just wood. We have enough to build it. Almost more wood. Before the sun goes down, hopefully. Been another day. Day gone. Just been exploring all day. 
Uh, it's dark. Let me figure it out really quick before things come to haunt me. Is this wood? What? Okay. Yeah, there's wood in here. All right. Now I can build it. So now I have three, I've, I've established three new villages today. Gotcha. 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 I've established three new villages today. I will have. In just a second. And then I need to work on getting the Frostlands and this place then up to level 10. Where am I? Is this, this wasn't it, was it? Was this it? Where, I don't know where I am now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was confused for a second. But anyway, future village right here. I think it's in a great location. And uh, let's just drop it in uh, right about, okay, come on. Come on, who who at, who invited you here? You invite yourself. So rude. All right, and eventually these things won't be as contentious, but uh, I think that this is gonna look good right here. And sure enough, I can already upgrade this one, right? To I need wooden granite, <laughs> but still, and, and I've already got a bunch of unlocks uh, for this. I should probably build a bed, set my bed. I guess I don't need my bed here. Um, but if I get more wood and granite, I can build a campfire, upgrade the village, you know, one level, whatnot. So, um, I think we're, we're in a good spot. I hope you guys like and appreciate on my map that we have a village here, a village here, and a village here. And they're not too far from each other. Like I said, it, it would have been nice to have them kind of equidistant, like in a triangle. And I still might do it. You never know. I could maybe pull that off if I were to put like a village centered here, a village centered here, and a village centered here. That would kind of be equidistant triangle like so I could get to any village from any village, you know. But this is more like a straight line. Hope you enjoy the episode. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott, subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and wanna help the channel grow, all you gotta do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.